Ford New Shipbuilding is special to me because this is where uh, I've grown up and built my career here as a shipbuilder. It's the work we do here every day that's so meaningful to uh, our community and our country and uh, the pride we take in building these great vessels and seeing them come and go out of our yard. The dry docks are unique facilities that are vital to um, our country. You know, this, is, this is the place where carriers are born for the United States of America. This dry dock is very special because it's the largest dry dock of its type uh, in the NAVC inventory. It's the largest dry dock in North America. So the dock is unique and that is 2,173 foot long. It's an, it's an enormous raving dock. That allows you the ability to construct multiple vessels at one time and launch them. So the dock was not designed for carrier construction. It was designed for commercial ship construction. But those days have passed. We now have to maximize the dock's potential for carrier construction. As shipbuilders, we need to find solutions. And part of the challenge here was to be able to maintain the schedule of CBN 81 with the two ship by and, and be able to launch CBN 80. So the team was tasked with looking at various options to accomplish that goal. And one of the things we realized was we could leverage our facilities through a few modifications to help keep those schedules on track. So the plan is tapping into something we've done in the past and uh, you know, going back into our history where we have uh, built carriers in this dock completely while building another one in part. So the plan for 1881 now, the innovative idea that we're doing is to construct the entire CBN 80 on the outboard end of the dry dock while constructing CBN 81 on the inboard end of the dry dock. And we're gonna accomplish that through some facility modifications that allow us to float out one vessel while constructing the other one in a safe manner. Uh, this was done in the past, but both vessels had to be floated our new modifications allow us to float out one vessel while the other one stays dry and no interruptions to construction of 81 while launching 80. We do make it look easy uh, from a high level, but that's the way we want it to look. We don't want anyone to think it's hard for us. So, you know, when you see the ship come out of the dry dock when it's launching, we want it to look like it's anybody can do it. Shipbuilding is an art, as we all know, and there's challenges for building ships. And you know, it's just like every day, you got high tides and low tides, and that applies to life as well, but every, every tide's a tide of opportunity. So we gotta look at these challenges as opportunities to show everybody in the world what we're capable of.